Hello, hello guys. Welcome everybody. So glad you are here. How are you doing? It's the Halloween party weekend. Hello, Nikki Jones. How are you? So nice to see you. Hey, Gary. How are you guys? So nice to see you here. And while we wait for more people, please share the broadcast. Share it with your friends, with the people you know, with your followers on Facebook, on Twitter. Invite some friends. How are you? So nice to see you guys. Yay, I see some bats here flying with the hearts. If you enter Halloween with the hashtag, you can see the little bats flying. Yes, I am using Periscope Producer. I think I have a little delayed, maybe a few seconds, but uh, hopefully you can hear me fine. So just type, yes, I can hear you, or no, I cannot hear you, and I will try to adjust. <laughs> Yes, the Halloween. Hi, Shavonia. How are you? Oh, so glad to hear that. Awesome, awesome. So welcome. Welcome, everybody. Oh, I see a lot of hearts. This is Shavonia giving me hearts and bats. Yay. How are you guys? Sorry, I'm looking at my phone and I'm looking at my monitor to make sure that everything looks good. Yes, I'm so glad to hear that. So hi. Hi, everybody. So as you can see, I am broadcasting from my computer. Yay, from my desktop. This is so cool. Oh, I'm glad. Gary, coming from you, it's an honor. It's a big compliment. I'm glad. I'm glad. I tried to follow everything that I could do in order to have a good quality video. Hello, Alberto. How are you? So Alberto is my husband, you guys. Alberto Profit is my husband, and we just did a little test to make sure that everything was working. It was hysterical. He was sitting on the couch next to me, <laughs> and we had a great time, but I'm glad that everything looks great. So welcome, everybody. I am, spoiler alert, right? Breaking up a little. You know, Shavania, if you are using uh, an iPad, I have a hard time commenting on people who are using Periscope Producer. So I don't know. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, so if you use your phone, that shouldn't be a problem. But if you use your iPad, you might have some delays or some uh, hard time to comment. I don't know why. That's something. The offer. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, hopefully you can stay until the end. And a little tip if you want to switch your phone to landscape mode you can see my big face and you can see all the slides that i will show you how to run gary it's always nice to see you thank you so much for stopping by you're <laughs> the phone <laughs> you're ready to throw it in the trash <laughs> Oh, poor phone. Oh my gosh. Hi, Anna Ford too. Thank you so much for joining. So a little bit about me before we uh, start with these uh, tips for Halloween. So my name is Sabrina Cadini and uh, I am an event planner and designer in San Diego, California. I plan uh, mostly weddings. My specialty is weddings, but I also plan social corporate and nonprofit events. So if you ever need any help with these types of events, you can definitely connect with me. But I'm also a business coach for wedding professionals. And uh, since I've been in the business for so many years, I decided to expand my services to business coaching because I want to share all my knowledge and expertise with all of you guys, basically. And so this is what I usually periscope about. And uh, my, my broadcasts are mainly for entrepreneurs or wedding entrepreneurs who want to have a successful business and become more profitable. But today I will be having some fun just sharing some tips about Halloween. Halloween is coming, so we are uh, ready to have a fun party, I hope. Do you guys have any plans? I think we do. We have a party coming up this Saturday. So I'm very excited to attend. And since I love Halloween, it's one of my favorite events in throughout the year. I can't wait to see what the party will be about. So we'll see. So as I was saying, you're getting to go to class. Got to go. Okay. Nice to see you, Alberto. So as I was saying, I will be sharing some tips uh, for your Halloween event or for your Halloween party because I know a lot of my clients uh, usually have these needs for some, you will be Tarzan, good to know. So a lot of my clients usually ask me for ideas for their Halloween events, whether they're having uh, events at their house or maybe they're renting a venue and invite friends or guests 
it's over. So I will give you some last minute tips because I know this is bye bye. Nice to see you. So I know that you uh, we're getting very close to the Halloween um, day, which is this weekend. But if you need some last minute ideas, here they are. I can definitely help you. So let's start and talk about um, the core. So the core, I would say, is the most important part if you are hosting an event at your house, for instance, because guests should be impressed, especially at Halloween. So at Halloween, you want to set the scene. You want to set a beautiful uh, playground, basically, for your guests. And there are many ways that you can do that. Uh, so for instance, uh, color. Can play an important role and of course some other decor types that i will share with you in a few seconds so let's talk about color color palette is definitely definitely a key subject because it sets the tone for the whole atmosphere for the whole event a lot of people ask me do we really really need to go with orange and black which is the usual the most popular right the timeless color palette for Halloween and I tell them no not at all Halloween should not be only orange and black you know it can be different colors it doesn't have to be orange and black like for instance my slides which have that have the, the typical color palette so you can do red and black you can do all black you can do white and black, which actually would be perfect for a little more formal affair. Or you can decide to go with different colors. For instance, I had an event a couple of years ago and the client wanted to do something different. So we decided to stay with muted shades of peach, raspberry and blueberry. So it was more towards the autumn, fall decor uh, theme. And it looked amazing. So again, it doesn't have to be the usual boring, sometimes predictable orange and black. As far as the core element, draping. Draping can have a huge impact on your decorations because you can transform a dining room or maybe another space in your house into a completely different uh, setting, into a completely different set for your party. So draping can definitely be done. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You can just ask a rental company in your town and they can basically cover the walls around the house or the, the, the dining room for your dinner party. It can be black, it can be white, it can be again in different colors. You can do a, maybe a, a sheer orange, something to keep with the, the usual color palette, but again, the possibilities are endless. So just go with whatever you decided as far as color palette. If you do black, it's a very dramatic look, so it creates a very, um, how can I say, uh, a very Halloween, spooky, gothic, uh, scary atmosphere, which can be perfect if you have that in your plans. Candlelight is another big, big important element to keep in mind for Halloween because of course candlelight, what's more dramatic than candlelight, right? And I absolutely love it. It's my favorite way of enhancing a room. So a lot of candles um, you can rent or maybe find candelabra of any type, gold, silver, black, crystal and you can find them online or you can also find them at like flea markets. Sometimes people get rid of candelabra and they're so amazing. They can definitely make a huge difference in your uh, party atmosphere. So a lot of candelabra, a lot of candle lights, a lot of votives, uh, votive candles and votives. Um, if you want to use candelabra, you can um, put uh, the long taper candles and have them drip some wax for some little more gothic, scary effects, which is uh, also very, very cool. Um, another thing that I always suggest to my clients is add a surprise element. This could be a scent. I always love to include all the senses in a party. The classic, thank you for so much for joining. So I always try to involve all the senses, not only what people can see, but also what they can touch or what they can feel, what they can smell or hear, right? So maybe adding a scent, a particular scent like pumpkin pie, 
would be amazing. And then your guests, as soon as they enter your house, will be impressed by the smell. They will be like, oh my gosh, that smells heavenly, right? So again, surprise element is always a great touch for your any type of parties. Uh, another thing for the, the dinner party, uh, if you can use long rectangular tables, they're very Dracula themed, right? Instead of a, a round table. So if you can either put some tables one next to each other and create a long line, if you have the space, of course, that'll be great. Otherwise, you can rent the so-called farm or wooden tables, which are very, very popular right now. And you can either keep them as they are. So the wood is beautiful and it's perfect. You don't have to rent linens or use linens. Or if you want to uh, use linens, then go with satin, go with some nice fabric. Again, we're trying to create a stylish party, not the usual spooky, scary, freaky, or whatever Halloween party that everybody's used to see, right? So whatever you can find that elevates the style of your party, good job. Yes, kudos to you. So again, satin linens are perfect. I remember I did an event last year uh, for a client and she wanted something very spectacular. She wanted to impress her guests. We transformed the garage. She has a five car garage in her house and we transformed it into a Halloween cave. It was amazing. And her dining tables had three layers of linens. Hello, Talisto. Thank you so much for joining. So she had black at the bottom and then one, uh, the, the layer on top of the black was a dark burgundy. And then she had a bright orange. So she did the orange, burgundy and black and they were all sheer and they created an amazing effect on the tables. We ordered over uh, oversized linens. So we had a lot of puff at the bottom of the tables. It was really, really cool. So again, go, go with something I would say chic, a little more sophisticated than the usual linen. And you can put some overlays. You can use um, maybe lace overlays or maybe some spider cobweb overlays just to make it fun. That would be a cool, cool effect. Flowers. So flowers, please don't use the, the flowers, the silk flowers that you find at craft stores. Craft stores during Halloween always sell like black roses or maybe some uh, awful uh, dark looking and sad looking flowers. B H J J J J J J J J J. Hello, thank you so much for joining. So go for something again, a little more chic, a little more sophisticated, a little more elegant. So you can use calla lilies. Calla lilies come in a beautiful rust shade, which is a dark orange, like a rust, rust, light brown, dark orange shade, which would be perfect. Or black magic roses, which are a, a dark burgundy. So again, it's they're not black and they're still real roses. So that makes a difference. D Karma, thank you so much for joining. Glad you're here. And share the broadcast with your friends, share on Facebook and on Twitter. And so again, with flowers, you can have a lot of different choices, but please don't use silk flowers that are sad looking. Guest Wi-Fi, thank you so much for being here. Um, you can also add like feathers to the flower arrangements. I mean, go very creative and you will see that makes a huge difference. On rocks, on rosk, one, <laughs> hello. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you want to use place cards and you have like a formal dinner, then I would suggest maybe little glittered pumpkins with the card on top, or you can just write with a black glitter marker on top with the name of the guests, right? And since I know that some people joined uh, recently, uh, I will do a little quick reintroduction. So my name is Sabrina Cadini. I am an event designer and planner in San Diego, California. My company name is La Dolce Idea. I plan weddings, social, corporate, and nonprofit events. And also I am a business coach for wedding entrepreneurs who want to elevate their brand and become more successful. Awesome. So this is just to give you an idea about the decor. A little bit about pumpkins that I mentioned for the place cards, right? If you want to write place cards, you can use, you can use glitter pumpkins. Pumpkins are my weakness. I love them because they are like a blank canvas and you can do anything you want. You can carve them if you have kids. 
Hey, that's the favorite pastime for Halloween, right? You can paint them, you can decorate them with a lot of different crafts. Conquer Inc., thank you so much for joining. So we're talking about Halloween tips for Halloween party. A little more chic and sophisticated, not the usual Halloween party. So as I was saying, pumpkins are my favorite because you can do pretty much everything that you want, depending on your style, depending on your theme. So, for instance, this uh, this year there are a lot of websites that have that show different ideas for pumpkins. One of them is just use see little gems. This is uh, decorated with gems, very easy. You can put as many as you want. Can you see this? And you can buy them at craft stores, right? So you can buy gems. Uh, to decorate the pumpkins. You can also use uh, sequins. And what I did uh, a few years ago, it was one of the first years that sequins were uh, fashionable. I basically glued rows of sequins, little strands of sequins, right in here. And it looked amazing. It was gold and black. It was really beautiful. Or going back to the, the glittered pumpkins that I was mentioning for the place cards, this is what I'm talking about. So see, you can just sprinkle the top of the pumpkin with colored glitter or gold or silver. This is color. This is multicolor. Or maybe just cover them entirely for a more sparkly look. What is very trendy this year is the lace effect. And I'm working on something for this Saturday for a client. Besides my party, I also have a client ordering some decor for the Halloween party. So I'm so glad. So this is the lace. Look. So look at this. You can just buy a lace fabric or you can also use like pantyhose and just put it on, on the pumpkin. It's amazing, right? What do you think? It looks really beautiful. So that's the style, the lace effect. You don't do you don't need to do anything. You just wrap the fabric around it and it's done. Voila. It's so quick. But it looks amazing. So I would say decorate your house with pumpkins in different styles and different ways, and you will see how guests will be very, very impressed. Um, I'm thinking if you are hosting a large party and if you have maybe a, a big house, why not having ushers? Maybe holding candelabra while they escort your guests to the lounge area or to the cocktail area. That would be a great idea, right? It would make them feel very important. NZBGSF, thank you so much for joining. Okay, so now let's talk about food and drinks. What's a party without food and drinks, right? I'm sure you experience the same, right? When you go to a party, you want to eat and you want to drink to have a great time, right? Totally. So let's talk about this. So food and drinks, you can be very creative as well. And you can play with Halloween themed names in order to make it a little more fun right? So uh, I'm reading some menus that I did in the past. We had deviled eggs, we had bat wings, we had black caviar tarts, we had brie cheese with, um, with red raspberry filling. And what we did was either having servers tray past the appetizers with on, on trays and in the center we put little bowls with dry ice that makes it very cold right for a uh, soup we did a tomato soup with cobwebs and they were basically uh, like a, a design laced with cream it looked amazing yeah that chef was really really very talented as entree we did a filet mignon with bloody mary sauce See, I mean, it's always nice to find a way to incorporate some spooky names, some Halloween themed names into the menu with the ingredients that you use. And we also had monster mashed potatoes. Again, something fun for your uh, menu. Signature cocktails, oh my goodness, the, it's, I mean, you can go as creative as you want. What we did for that specific party was a peach Cosmo because, again, we did like a peachy-hued um, theme served with a black licorice stick in a martini glass. It looked amazing. It tasted amazing, and guests loved it. Um, for drinks, of course, at the dinner, you can serve vampire wine or you can have a sign at the bar 
where all the wines available so again it's totally up to you you know your guests better than me you know what they will drink but always try to incorporate the halloween theme into the names of your food and of your drinks okay uh and now we are talking about entertainment entertainment is very very important not that the core and food and drinks are not that important but entertainment puts play Dracula on the TV absolutely absolutely ge geocentric definitely but entertainment sets the mood and it can make or break a party I don't know if it ever happened to you you go to an event you go to a party and nothing happens and you leave after maybe half an hour because you're like well there's nothing to do here once I said hi to my friends that's it right they don't even have great alcohol so i'm leaving right so entertainment definitely needs to be entertaining your guests from the beginning to the end so as geo zen trick i think was saying on tv absolutely play something on the tv if you have a monitor play some um halloween themed uh, movies could be nosferatu could be dracula there are so many different classics that you can play on a loop all night long that sets a great mood but also music music either in the background or having maybe a DJ or if you have a larger space a band live band and they should be dressed in Halloween characters because that's what makes a party more fun right so always make sure that the band or the DJ follow the rules and follow the dress code because again it's it would be sad to see the band is like dressed in a totally different theme right so try to have everything cohesive i'm all about a consistent look which makes it more fun a band dressed like the adams family love it exactly <laughs> totally yes are you in the event industry geocentric because you have great ideas or maybe you do a lot of halloween parties I don't know but definitely yes whatever you can incorporate that that speaks Halloween that'll be a great touch also um, as far as not really well you have great ideas though as far as uh, entertaining your guests you can also hire maybe a tarot reader she could be dressed as a gypsy that's another costume right that we can incorporate into the event or maybe a mind reader or maybe sure or maybe um, a magician or even think like a caricature artist you know hey Carlo how are you so nice to see you we're talking Halloween tonight it's one of my favorite favorite holidays so again whatever uh, strikes your fancy and you think your guests would love it hello Jamari so nice to see you absolutely go for it so tarot reader or mind reader a magician or a caricature artist a juggler I mean make it fun make it different make it sensational make it memorable because what you want to achieve is a memorable event that your guests will remember and they will want to come back next year if you want to do another party next year <laughs> right but again so, something that definitely can entertain your guests from the, the beginning up to the end and of course costume contest if you asked your guests to dress up for the party why not do a costume contest that always works and a lot of laughs are guaranteed so definitely definitely something that you could keep in mind awesome so I don't know if you have any questions for me if you don't I will leave you with my contact information so you can make sure that you contact me if you have any questions so today I gave you some uh, helpful I hope uh, tips for a Halloween themed party at your house or at a venue that you will be renting this weekend um pecky pecky necky oh i love that username thank you so much for joining and of course if you have some uh, need for last minute tips last minute ideas feel free to contact me uh, you can call me as you can see by phone you can contact me on my website i have contact forms where you can find me and of course you can also find me online on social media so as you can see i have two websites one for the event planning la dolce idea one for the business coaching sabrina cadini but if you want tips for halloween just make sure that you contact me at la dolce idea 
us that's where you can find uh tips and ideas for parties and of course let's connect on social media i am on facebook on instagram on pinterest on twitter so make sure that we become friends there Wonderful. So I really hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Uh, as I was saying, this is a professionally uh, produced broadcast and uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back in a few days and uh, maybe with more tips. If not, make sure that you contact me and feel free to connect with me via phone, via email, whatever works best for you. Direct message on Twitter if you are on social media more than on email, like I am. <laughs> So again, let's keep uh, connected and make sure that you follow me here on Periscope. So you can just click on the little period dude on the bottom right of your screen. Just click on that. You will see the follow uh, button, button. So you can click on that and you will be notified every time that I go live. Awesome, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you very soon. If I don't talk to you before then, happy Halloween.